Dr. Uletti right now. Dr. Uletti, the first question we had for you was dealing with people who have medical conditions, people living with asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, sickle cell. And a lot of these people are wondering, is the vaccine safe for me? So rather than listing all the medical conditions that are safe, Dr. Yolanda, I want to talk about conditions that should possibly stop someone or make someone think twice before getting the vaccine. Um, actually, that's a great question. I think what people need to remember when they're taking the vaccine is, is what is the risk of me getting COVID versus the risk of me getting the, getting the vaccine? So there's almost no health condition where COVID is a good thing to have. And so except for severe anaphylactic shock, you really should be getting the vaccine because the long-term side effects of COVID can be terrible with any health condition. While we don't know the long-term side effects of the vaccine yet, uh, there's been nobody that's died from the vaccine. So when you're debating that, do you want to get COVID or do you want to get the vaccine is really what you need to answer for yourself. Okay. An important, an important thing to consider. And for those of you watching right now who may have concerns about allergies, the FDA does have a list of ingredients for each vaccine listed. We have a link to all of that on our website, fox59.com slash links. You can also check cbs4indy.com slash links. Birsha? All right, next, let's talk about the timeline for developing.